What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the place to be, channel Big Boss ENT. I hope everybody's doing well. I don't want to drag this intro out too long, but uh, I placed a few orders through Sendico. Uh, if you guys don't know about them, they uh, they are based in Japan. You kind of place orders through them. They deal with ya uh, what is it? Japan Yahoo, Mercari. Mo most of the retro community knows about it. Um, just look more into it. But I placed a few orders and it finally just came in. Came in this nice big suspicious box with the uh, red tape on it. So I want to say there's probably like five, maybe six items in here. I actually got the breakdown over here off the side right here of what I paid off through, you know, buying them in Japan and what they are going for. Sold prices on eBay. Um, I did end up doing all the shipping. So let's just, enough of the talking. Let's get into it. All right, I think I got the camera set up pretty decent for this unboxing. Uh, let's see how they actually packaged it. Um, you do have an option to have them, what do you call it? Add a, add a little more protection, I believe, to it. Um, probably just a bunch more bubble wrap for not much more money. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 500 yen, which might equal out to like four bucks or something like that. I said, I, you know, just whatever. Wanted to see what happens. Probably should. I mean, it was stupid, but let's see what they have in here. How did they package it? Um, I got a few actual inbox items, um, and they. Sh you also have an option to have them break them down. Um, it might save on the weight for shipping. I kind of wanted to keep the boxes. Uh, you know, just the collector in me that decided to keep all that. Um, but yes. So we'll start off, they, I mean, they already put bubble wrap in it, so I'm kind of glad I didn't pay extra. So there's your two layers right there. Just chuck this off to the side. Um, you guys can see that. Not bad. Not bad for wrapping everything. Uh, let's get in here a little deeper. All right. Okay. Bam. Right here, guys. This, <laughs> this was... This wasn't even, this was the one of the last purchases that I purchased. And I'm going to save this for last because this is something I'm a little proud of. All right. But I will show you guys the original reason why I started my order again through them. Um, there was a video, I believe it was a couple of weeks ago, that Gaming Off The Grid put out. And they were talking about Dreamcast light gun games. And they end up having the uh, the one that came out in the U.S. They had a few of like the, the U.S. ones that came out by Mad Cats. And we found out that they actually never released, like Sega never released an official Dreamcast light gun in the U.S. Long story, you guys, you guys look into it. But Sega did release an official Dreamcast gun in Japan. So let's get into this. Let's see. I paid 2,500 yen, <laughs> which I'm not going to keep going by yen. Um, the breakdown as of when I recorded this, that it comes out to $16.32. So $16. I got an official Dreamcast Zapper um, and a bonus that I noticed after I ended up purchasing it. It looks like they included the rumble pack. Um, I forget what they call it. I, I don't know if it's a jumper pack or, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Uh, so yeah, so got a little two for one there. I just didn't. I should have included this in the breakdown, but either way, I spent 16 on this on eBay, and I'm gonna throw them up in the corners over here of some of the screenshots of sold listings. This thing's going for like 60 bucks on eBay right now, and I paid 16. So that all right there, we're already saving, right? Oh, very cool, very cool. Oh, there's that. Put that to the side. All right, next one. This right here. Okay, so this is the PlayStation 1. And there's actually two guns that you need for the PlayStation 1, right? We do have them both. Spoiler alert, right? If you can't see. But uh, <laughs> right here, we have the Konami Justifier 
Japanese version, which I think looks a little better than the goofy one that they gave us here in America. The regarding the color, I mean, those the neon goofy colors. I don't know. It is what it is, but well, it's all hopefully it all works the same, right? Um, I ended up spending on the Justifier PS One Justifier. Where where did I put this? Okay, we're back after the uh, break so I can figure out what I end up doing here. I end up flipping these two around. The Dreamcast, I think it's Phaser is actually what it's called. I end up getting this. I spent $25.75. They are going for around $55 sold listings on eBay. So either way, double up, you know, right there, right? So right here, the Konami, the Konami PS1 Justifier. This is the one I spent 16 bucks on, and this is the one that is going for 60 bucks. You know, either way, more money saved. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, right here, since you guys have already probably seen this one from the beginning, this is the PS1 Gun Con in box. They have a few versions of these. Uh, one comes with a game. Um, I can't remember what the other one is. But this is just the straight up gun. This one is in black. That's what they had over there. Um, and in the US, we ended up getting the gray to actually match the system, which I actually can't say the gray looks a lot better than the black version. And I usually like the, the guns that are black, um, like, you know, the Sega Saturn and all that. But let's see here. You know, let's get a little close up on that. Bunch of, you know, Japanese stuff there. So now there's a kicker here. You actually need to. I'm gonna slow down. It's getting real crazy with this stuff. All right. So let's open this up. Let's see. So there is some instructions there. Let me flip this around. Pick that up later. But yeah, a bunch of instructions in Japanese. You should be able to read them. Going off the pictures. So right there you have your little AV cord which is connected to this so you need to run the your normal AV jack to the TV boom 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 right looks good it looks really clean actually I don't actually see any scuffs on this so that's actually pretty nice that is pretty nice right there ah, <laughs> nah, but yeah so this is nice all right so what did I pay for this this is the PS1 gun con I spent $27.41 and it goes for $35. And here's the, here's the thing. There was an actual bonus in that listing. I'm going to show a picture of it right now. That in that same one that I purchased for the $27. So you can actually break this down a little more. I ended up getting this included. Which goes great with the light guns, cause All right, now back from another jump cut. I had to read the I had to read the back of this thing. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of it. Um, pretty much, you hook this up to the back of the PlayStation, which, if you remember, the original 1000 model actually had these plugs right there, the yellow, yellow, white, and red. I can't remember if it had that as video too, but either way, this adds that option where you don't have to just use the regular cords but the reason it came with the gun is because you might be able to and this is what i'm hoping i'll let you guys know if it's you know yay or nay right that i you always run my playstation i have as video cables for them um i'm gonna see if i could actually plug this in here still run as video get a better picture and see if it works right i don't know we'll i just hooked everything up it's gonna look like a mess a bunch of wires but You'll get the gist of how this thing works. Um, let me flip the camera around. Okay, now right here, we're in, we're plugged into port two. Um, we're just running S video and left and right channel, right? Come down, PlayStation, S video, left and right channel, and the gun con is is plugged into that yellow uh, socket. And if you look, I mean, I don't know how good it's coming out, going to come up on the TV, but. I mean, it works just fine. Works just fine. Let's see, we'll see. But hey, you know, hey, let me guys know. I actually pulled this out while I was pulling that the uh, PlayStation out. Which one do you like better, 
the black or the gray one. I'm leaning towards the gray one, but you know, I'm glad I got two of them because you, know, you have two players, right? So on to the next one. Forgot to add this on. This is retailing for 30 bucks itself on eBay. The normal PlayStation one, those are the only examples I was able to find, but it's Hori brand, so it's you know high quality. So like I said, to recap, this certain purchase, well, this and this I got for $27 and 41 cents. So this would retail for $65 on eBay. Right, second to last. I think almost everybody knows what this is. You can see, <laughs> I mean, this is how iconic is this, right? The original Konami Justifier. This specific model, this is for the Super Nintendo, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I made a community post about this, but I actually picked up a Sega Genesis Grail. Um, if this doesn't kind of show you exactly what I end up getting. Um, but I did need to get, I just wanted to have the whole set. So we'll just say that. I'll leave it at that. But yeah, I ended up picking this up for, let's see, what did it say here? SNES Justifier, Super Famicom Justifier. For $17.62. You look up some uh, sold listings right now on eBay. It's going for about $45 on eBay. All right. The last purchase that I got through Sendico. Just on a total random fluke of uh, things that I wanted to get. Was the PS VR. I ended up spending, I'm not even going to like mess around with you guys. I'm going to tell you exactly what I spent. I spent $40.98 on this. You look up sold listings for the entire bundle, right? The bundle right now, bundles are going for about $120 sold. And this is, let's see, make sure they included everything, right? So, clearly all the paperwork that, you know... Not bad, actually. <laughs> I'm saying I ain't gonna understand that, but I mean, we have these giant pictures. It's actually not too bad. So I'm gonna throw that together right there. They included the one of the power cords. We got a very clean uh, arm where the camera sits. Let's find that camera. And yes, the camera is right here. Let's make sure the lenses aren't cracked. Man, that is nice. That is actually in really good condition. And wow, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah. That is clean too. That is clean too. I mean, still got, this, still got some of these tags on them. I mean, look at this. All right, so there's that. There's that. More cables. I don't think you guys really care about the cables, right? All the cables are included. And here's the thing with that. I don't know if I'll... I actually didn't know about this until I started looking more of this up. There's actually two versions of the original PSVR. Not sure, you know, all the details. I just know the second one has a little more, a little more oomph to it, right? Um, and I ended up making sure that that was this one. So that's the uh, the, the box. You know, it does whatever it does. It does whatever it needs to do. And here is the goofy headset. Look at that, yes. Bam, 40 bucks, man. I was looking on, uh, I was actually looking at possibly getting these from GameStop. No, no, go ahead and sue me, right? Um, just the headset alone, if you actually try to order these through GameStop, you're only getting the headset. You're not even getting the, the box that makes it work or any of the cables. Just the headset, I think they're selling it. I'm not gonna look this up, but I wanna say like $60, something like that. But uh, here you go. There is the headset. Once again, looks clean. Uh, tip for everybody, if you want to know if you have the version 1 or the version 2 of the original VR headset, I guess this button, um, I don't know if it's like a power button or it's an adjust button, there will be a button on the top. The first version has a button on the bottom. Um, but there's that. Right, now everything's unboxed. We got the grand total of $128.07.
I did have to pay to have shipping. So I'm going to include that on my end. It was $50. It was like five kilos. So it came out to $50.43 with a grand total. On my end, I spent $178.50. Now, you could already see the savings just by taking two of those items, right? From, you know, the PS1 Justifier and the, the VR. Um, now, eBay would have been, three on average, about $345. On average, right? So, I mean, you take those two numbers, right? Subtract them. That's $166.50 savings in my book. So that's about 50, you know, about 50% off just buying all this stuff here. Now I do got to say, I recommend if you are going to purchase anything through Sendico, maybe have a couple hundred bucks that you want to put aside, you know, go ahead and stack up all the items that you really want. Keep looking. Um, you do have about half a year it says 180 days that they'll have a, uh, you know, you're able to store this stuff there for free. Um, Overall, as long as this stuff works, and I'll you guys probably already had clips during some of this stuff, um, I'm pretty happy with my savings. So, got some new things to play with. Uh, hey, man, you guys like what you see in here? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Y'all take care.